Good morning, folks. Today we've got a lot of focus on the sun. There may be a small solar wind disruption on the way, and we'll see progress in climate and catastrophism. Starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, we find the last day on the sun relatively quiet despite the array of filaments and brighter active regions. The same region as yesterday's snap, top right. But the main thing to discuss is the filament snap on the north that that same region had yesterday. It was very small. As we mentioned, the main bulk of the plasma did not eject, but both Stereo and Soho updated later in the morning to show a minor CME. Most of it will miss. It was just the plasma off the top of the corona, but there is a small chance for a light impact in the solar wind on Thursday. will be moderate at worst. We will continue monitoring the filaments, as that is a lot crammed into this region for it to maintain stability. Sticking with solar activity, NASA launched a rocket into the light aurora over the weekend. The mission is said to have captured all the data they were looking for, and since it was a pulsating aurora, we may get minutia on the thermospheric coupling we haven't seen before. Fingers crossed. We're heading over to UCAR NCAR up next, and while it's always best to have the final right answer, sometimes it's a good step in the right direction just to figure out the answer everyone else is going with is wrong. Here, it's the super cold snap of last year and a debunking of the concept that the sudden stratospheric warming was to blame. Even without investigating and concluding on the actual cause, they struck down the main argument against ours, that the underlying condition of the troposphere is to blame. Had a similar cold snap this year, no sudden stratospheric warming. Last but not least in the article front, Folks, these studies are never the most exciting ones, but they have been slowly laying foundational bricks that have now created the pillars upon which so much of the Earth's catastrophe cycle rests, at least in terms of what we know about it. The flurry of identifications of Heinrich events and the younger Dryas is something that breaks tradition in favor of seeking out the evidence of the past disasters in every corner of the world. Papers like this are weekly finds now, used to be a handful across a whole year. The awakening of this field should be appreciated. Folks, we finished the supplement yesterday. You will be able to pre-order the new book soon. Formatting and final edits pending, but the two key books of ours from the end of 2019, beginning of 2020 have been updated. Both topics, all the best new information since those books came out. The sun controls climate. The earth disaster cycle is about to strike again, and we can prove it. Stay tuned here the next couple weeks for pre-order information. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.